I'm News for Jax, and Chief Meteorologist David Hecker. Colorado State released their very latest forecast update that deals with the Atlantic hurricane season, and they are actually stepping things up a little bit. In the update on July the 6th, they're now going for an above average season. So let's take a closer look here what the new numbers are going to be in the Atlantic Basin. We are talking about 18 named storms according to Colorado State forecasters, nine hurricanes for major hurricanes. Now, last forecast came out on June the 1st, the start of hurricane season, and you can see this is an increase. They had 15 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes. The seasonal average in the Atlantic is 14 storms, seven hurricanes, and three majors. Now, I do want to stress here this column right here, the named storm column. We've already had officially three named storms and one unnamed storm. So what Colorado State is forecasting here is not 18 named storms. They're forecasting 14 additional storms from the four that we have already seen. And part of the reason of this uptick here is the incredibly warm water that is sitting in the tropical and subtropical Atlantic. We are not talking about just slightly above average temperatures here. We are talking about well above average to historic numbers across much of this corridor here in what we call the main development region. And already in this main development region, we've had two named storms develop in the month of June, and that has never happened before in recorded history. So the area already primed in the main development region for additional tropical activity. The thing that's holding everything back could end up being El Nino. It is becoming almost certain we're going to be in El Nino cycle as we head into the back end of hurricane season. That's good news. And El Nino, once again, is warmer water off the coast of Peru, but this changes the jet stream patterns and produces more shear in the tropical Atlantic, which oftentimes leads to fewer hurricanes and tropical storms because shears basically just rip apart the activity that attempts to develop that are tropical waves and tropical depression. So no doubt about it, it's going to be kind of a battle here between El Nino developing and these very warm, almost historically warm water temperatures across the tropical and subtropical Atlantic. Right now, Colorado State is thinking that the warm water is going to win out over El Nino. Other forecasters disagree with this and everyone is kind of being beginning to see the question marks as to what's going to happen here during this Atlantic hurricane season. In fact, Colorado State made a mention there is higher than average uncertainty with their forecast. They'll issue another forecast in August and know we'll have another update coming up in the start of August as well. And this is Chief Meteorologist David Eckert for Channel 4, the local station.